what's going on guys? I am in the kitchen today because I'm talking about this stuff right here, protein powder. And I get this message at least a few times a week. Players are asking me, I'm a soccer player, I'm a footballer, I want to build muscle, should I be taking protein powder? So I wanted to make this video so I never have to answer that question again, I just send you to this video. Now, I'm assuming you want to build muscle. You want to get those guns coming through, but you also want to be more effective on the field. Okay, and that's where I want to start this video. For a soccer player or a footballer, for you to be effective on the field, you don't want to be huge. You don't want to be the biggest guy, can't even walk through a door. That's not your goal as a soccer player. Yes, you want to build muscle. It's okay to be ripped. It's okay to look great as well, but you don't want to be huge. Okay, you actually want to be at a lower weight. You want to be lean. You want to have muscle, but you want to be lean. So all this talk is going around about bulking. You're not a bodybuilder. You don't need to bulk. Okay, you should be eating a clean diet, trying to keep lean. And if you are in the gym, actually improving your strength each time you go to the gym, you will build muscle. A lot of people think if I just drink enough protein powder or I eat enough protein, I will build muscle. That is not true. In order to build muscle, you must first stimulate the muscle or encourage it to grow. And how do you do that? By doing strength training, but by becoming stronger. So what I mean by that is if I go to the gym and every time I go to the gym, I lift 10 pounds above my head for 10 sets, I'm never gonna get any stronger. I'm not gonna force my body to grow, so I'm not gonna build bigger muscle. But if every time I go, I'm doing a little bit more, for example, the first time I go, I'm doing 10 pounds. The next time I go, I'm challenging myself, I'm doing 15, 20, 22.5, 23.4, okay? Little tiny increments. If you're always getting a little bit stronger, challenging yourself a little bit more, then you will force your body to grow muscle. Now, the strength training is the first part, okay? Now, if you actually wanna build muscle, you need to get enough protein. And the general rule is about one gram of protein per one pound of body weight. So if I weigh 170 pounds, I should be aiming to get about 170 grams of protein per day if I want to build muscle. Now, there's some research going around that shows you don't actually need that much and you can get away with a little less, like 0.8 or 0.75 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So don't feel like you have to get like so much protein into your body especially if you haven't been getting enough or the recommended amount up to this point. If you start putting protein into your body a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, and you're doing that strength training that I talked about, you're going to see the results. But let's talk specifically about protein powder, okay? It is better to get your protein from food. It is better to get your protein from food. Real protein is better than this I don't know, chemically constructed, man-made protein, okay? Real protein from food is better than this. Why is this good? Why is this convenient? Well, it's tough to eat that much protein in one day. So for me to eat, maybe I have to eat like five chicken breasts, a steak, and a piece of fish. It's tough to eat a lot of that food. It's exhausting. Sometimes you don't have that much time. So the reason protein powder is good, the reason I take protein powder is because it's convenient. It allows me to get 30 grams of protein in one drink, okay? And I am not full after that. So that's why I think protein powder is good. Should you be taking protein powder? Well, that depends on your specific goals. Are you just trying to maintain the body that you're at? Then no, you probably don't need to take protein powder. You don't need to spend your money on protein powder. And you can just get your protein from your normal meals. And you should, don't even think about taking protein supplements if you're not already on a healthy diet. And what I mean by that is, if you're not eating at least three good meals a day or something like that, getting your vitamins and minerals from fruits and vegetables, you're getting good carbohydrates from rice, potatoes, quinoa, grains, these types of things, and you're eating, like I said, those lean proteins, the chicken, eggs, if you're on that vegetarian thing, that's cool too. You can get your protein from beans. That's where your diet needs to start. And that's where your health and that's where your physical development needs to start. Don't be eating cheeseburgers and candy and maybe not even eating and just drinking protein and expect to get big and build muscle. It doesn't work like that. Okay, so start with your meals. 
And then if you feel like, try to track your nutrients, how many grams of protein am, am I getting in each meal? And if you feel you're coming up short, then you can add some protein powder. And like I said, it's convenient. It's not gonna fill you up. So that's why I personally drink protein. Now, as far as which you should buy, do you need a specific brand? No, any type of protein is going to do. For me, the reason I got this protein, and I'm not gonna say any names on camera, the reason I got this protein is because it mixes well with water. I've gone through different proteins in the past, and some of them, if you just put it in a bottle with water and you shake it up, it doesn't mix. It's chunky, it's grainy, and you try to drink it and it's disgusting. You have to put it in the blender for certain types of protein and really blend it up. And for me, like I said, it's all about convenience. I'm busy, I'm always on the go, I always got things to do. So for me to just put a little bit of this in a bottle, shake it up and drink it, that's what I want. So some types of protein aren't gonna give you that. Some types, like I said, are too grainy, they're too chunky, they don't mix well with water. If, you're, if you like to make the shakes and blend them up, throw some fruit, whatever in there, then that's your, uh, that's your decision. This is my opinion and that's why I like this type of protein. So that's pretty much all I want to say. I think I answered most of the questions that I usually get every week about protein. Do you need to take protein? That depends on your goals. If you want to build muscle, then yes, but try to get as much protein as you can from real food. Only use this extra protein powder if you're trying to make those last few grams or you're trying to get an extra 30 grams a day, something like that. Do you need to take protein after a workout? Yes, it's good if you want to. It isn't necessary. If you're getting those nutrients into your body throughout the day, it's going to give you what you need. But uh, there is science, and I'm not an expert on fitness and bodybuilding and all that stuff, but there is science that shows it is good to get protein after your workout. For some reason, it gets into your body better, you absorb the nutrients better, and it helps your muscle development. So yes, it is a good idea. Finally, I want to say before I leave, you're trying to get bigger, or you're trying to build muscle. What I want to bring to your attention is the idea of, as a soccer player or footballer, you don't want to be huge. You don't want to be massive. You don't want to be too big where you're becoming slow. You actually want to weigh less, but have more muscle. So you can still look big. You can still have some muscle on your body. Okay, do I have some abs, a little bit abs? You can still have some muscle on your body and actually you will look more ripped, more defined if you weigh less. So a lot of people out there are like trying to bulk, they're trying to get up to 180, 190 or you're like, I'm, I'm too small. The truth is you want to be leaner and as long as you're doing the strength training, becoming stronger in the gym, you will build muscle. Get stronger with all your lifts in the gym. Every exercise you do, every time you go, try to do more and more. Obviously be smart, don't be an idiot keep good form, listen to your body, know what you can do, but push yourself, become stronger each time you go to the gym and you're eating properly, getting enough protein, you will build muscle and you will stay lean, okay? You wanna be at a lower weight and yes, you wanna build muscle, you wanna get stronger, but you don't have to add on 20 pounds of fat and then cut it all off. I don't believe in that. I believe if you're getting stronger, you should stay at a lean weight, especially if you're a soccer player and you wanna be effective, explosive, and you wanna be able to run longer, have good stamina, and just be good on the field. Okay, that's my opinion. Those are my philosophies. Thank you for watching this video on protein. I hope it answered all of your questions. If you have any more questions, just comment below. I'd love to help you out. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. Please share this video with your friends. Please support me on Patreon if you like my videos. There'll be a link at the end of this video. And thank you so much for watching. Talk to you guys tomorrow.